So today I want to try and make a tea tunic. The simplest kind that you can, which is all one piece of fabric and basically just has two seams. I've made these before hand stitched, but I've not tried one on a machine. So we'll see how that goes. It'll be good practice building up to something like an army jacket or a gambeson. Flop out some material here. You're going to want about two yards. I'm going to lay this across on that. And I'm going to mark it out with the Sharpie. The way these usually come, a yard is folded over and then rolled up. So usually you can grab an edge and pull it out after you're done cutting. And it's twice as wide as it initially looks to be. But not in this case. In this case, this is a single piece. And so we run into the problem of width. But I'm just going to go ahead and cut this. So there's two ways we can solve the width issue. The first way is this is about chest width for me. This should work for my chest size because this is going to be the front and back of the T-tunic. But in that case, we won't really have any sleeves. It would be sleeveless or more like a tabard than a tunic. I can either put sleeves onto it or I can cut another length like this and stitch it right up the middle. I will be cutting another length of fabric this case and stitching it up the middle because that chest size might be a little off. I want it as wide as I can go so I can take it in here and there if I need to. Now I've sewn on sleeves independently by hand before, uh, but usually when you do that, you have to cut out a little triangle piece here and here and make a little diamond that you sew into there to let them flex right. And I think for simplicity's sake, it'll be easier if I just make the attempt to sew these two pieces together and then proceed as normal. Uh, the logistics of this are hard for me to figure on. I think I'm going to have to try to guide a the bulk of this side up through here. I don't want it to get caught in the belt. But at the same time, I think I'm going to have to lay most of this on my lap and then set this side off to here as I do it so that I can actually work the treadle here. I am very much a noob at using a sewing machine. Any stitching I have done in the past has been by hand. So we'll see how this goes.
it looks like I'm mostly missing it. I don't know, I guess I'm just going to cut it and try again. Well, it's together, <laughs> but you know, it's not together very well. Well, that's, uh, that's not very good. It's not very straight. And it somehow got away from me here at the end. It's uneven. But this is wide enough. This will let me do what I need to do. So before I get into cutting, I'm going to try to even out all of these edges here. Start by getting these two bottom edges and making them in line with each other. And I'll hold that down and bring this over like that and tug it this way. Just kind of try to smooth it out a little bit. And Fold this back over. And lay it down right about there. Try to bring all those edges in line. Now I want to take a look down here because I recall that got away from me. And I can see where the lowest part of that is so I'm going to want to kind of mark that. I'm not going to draw a line. I'm just going to look about where it's at. Oop, I did draw a line. There. I'm going to put a dot and another one in here and then put a dot. I'm going to find where it ends up here. Put another dot on my line. Just above those dots. Now anything you clip off like this, you can save those for patches. You can cut out a nice little patch square. Because eventually this is going to rip or tear or something. And it's, it's good to just throw a patch on it. You don't even have to stitch a patch on. You can glue a patch on. Uh, easiest with something like a hot glue gun. All I'm going to want to do here is put this tailor's tape in the middle of my chest, throw it around me here, and breathe out and get a measurement of my chest, which looks about 42, 43. I'll call it 43. I'll fold this in half here. And what I do is I fold it in half one more time. And that is about as far in as you want to cut. So what we'll do here is firstly, we'll come to about where I've marked 
And maybe we'll give it like about an inch more just in case. And I'll go ahead and I'll draw a line running up that. Now, if you want to get real specific with it, all you really got to do is flex the bicep and take sort of a circumference measuring measurement on that. When you come to the end here, and you fold that over once. It's, it's half of that. And then you can put the mark in there. And you come in like this with this piece. And you bring it right about to where your line is here. And you're going to just draw your line about there not all the way to the end leave yourself a little bit of a little bit of a scoop and you can just put your hand like this to connect those nice and easy what you're going to want to do here is you bring that in and you fold it over and you're going to bring it over one more time and so from right about there all I'm going to do is I'm going to mark a little curve line and I'm going to bring that all the way over to the edge. Now once I get about that far in just to make it easier and keep it straighter, I come in from this edge. Just like that. Now, if it's still a little too small for your head, what you can do is, this very first flap of material as in removed from all this stuff inside of there, you can cut a vertical slit. That is not going well. Pull more. So my camera died on me while I was working on that and I didn't realize, but the other side went pretty much the same as this side and this is the finished product. You can have your flaps here just out like that. You can use some starch and an iron to crease them so they sit like that. or crease them running on the inside like that. You can actually slit the sides here. If you like, you can fold this over and sew that. These should be good for, you know, practice, uh, passable for going to a reenactment of some kind. They got plenty of flexibility, you know, they flex in all the places you need them to and use them as painter's clothes. They can make pants as well. I would recommend not throwing it over a normal shirt because it tends to bunch because the way you measure these, you measure them to be fitted. And if you have something else underneath that, problems arise with, with the way it fits. But uh, this did not turn out too bad for the first attempt at doing one of these on a sewing machine. With a little more practice, maybe I'll get these looking real good coming off the machine. All right, take care.